What is going on, everybody? Matitude22 here today, bringing you guys another figure review on a hot summer day. Guys, today we are rounding out my... Well, I should say I'm rounding out my, my Big Hero 6 collection with Hero. This is the last figure I have to review. This is the, of course, the Disney Toy Box Hero. I'll show you guys the packaging really quick. So it is pretty much just a standard blister card. You got Disney Toy Box right there. Number six, you can see telling us this was the sixth figure. And then uh, the other figures in this wave. I only bought the Baymax, but if you want to get those two, you can. And uh, price tag. And just a little paper with Hero on it on the back. Not much to that. All right, let's look at the figure. Get to that later. All right, so starting off, face sculpt it is good. I mean, I don't really see how they could mess this face sculpt up, but they they did a good job. I guess this is a pretty nice figure. A lot of nice kind of sculpted detail on it, so the armor looks really cool. Um, you can see in the hands they got. I, I don't know. I don't think they're really sculpted to attach to Baymax, but where he kind of attaches himself. So that's a pretty cool feature. Uh, I find I find you can comfortably get him riding on Baymax. Uh, I, I found that I found anyway. And then he's just got kind of regular running shoes. Uh, they're paint they're painted all right. Not really much to them though. Overall, not a lot to the figure. the The purple paint is pretty good, and they got it. They got it pretty good. So the red looks nice, and there's no really bleeding anywhere that I can see. There is something going on on his neck right there. It looks like someone cut his throat, but just a little little issue. Like I said, the the for the paint, the red looks good. Um, it doesn't look perfect, but it's not really messed up or anything. And his hands are basically, he's got the karate chopping hand and he's got the, gonna have a sip of beer hand. But he comes with no accessories, so it is what it is. Um, you can see the belt with some little pouches, just, just sculpted on pouches. No detail on them or anything like that. Again, I don't, I, I wouldn't super expect it, like uh, this being just like a 13 or $14 figure. It is what it is. You kind of just have to. You kind of just have to understand that that's well, that's what it is. Uh, the helmet is removable, or if you want to have him bald, hero. I mean, technically you do have that option. It's not technically accurate. So you just have this soft kind of rubbery helmet with the hair in the front. Um, in addition. It's pretty much one and only accessory. He comes with alternate hair, so this is just basically uh, unhelmeted hair, regular hair. I, I don't know. I, I kind of personally don't like it. I think it doesn't fit on quite right. Uh, it doesn't really look like I don't think his hair really looks like that in the movie. So to me, I just, I don't know. I just find this hair doesn't really sit on quite right. And if you are going to go with the bald look, uh, just know that you're going to have that to deal with. So uh, personally, I think the helmet is better, but I don't know why you'd want to display him without the helmet because the helmet is part of his costume anyway. So uh, this, I, I don't know why you'd bother with this anyway. Articulation, the head moves side to side. We get kind of a forward and back wiggle. Um, there you go. You can see yeah, like a neck disc, but looks like it's, I don't know. looks like it's, uh, the paint is rubbing off on the neck. Arm moves up to here. This shoulder pad part doesn't really inhibit the articulation. I just don't think he has any more articulation. Arm moves in this far back this far he's got a bicep swivel slash hand swivel 
bend in the elbow, wrist rotation and wrist hinge. He's got a waist twist, hips move out this far. He kicks this far forward and kicks that far back and he's got a slight bend in the knee and he's got ankle pivot and the ankles kind of wiggle but he doesn't really have an ankle rocker um i don't know i mean if you're into big hero six like me uh I, I I recommend these this figure. It, it's not really great or anything, but it's uh, there he goes. But it's Hero. Hero is part of Big Hero Six. So if you're collecting Big Hero Six, and you definitely need Hero to go along with them. Um, other than that, it's very is what it is. Uh, also, Big Hero Six is part of Marvel, not necessarily these versions. I mean, if you wanted to put this with your Legends, um, let's just take. Just for comparison, let's just take Quicksilver. He, he does somewhat scale, so these figures would somewhat t technically scale with your Legends. So you do kind of have that option, but that's totally up to you. I I'm keeping these guys on my Disney shelf. But uh, nice figure, not great, but it is what it is. So guys, that is going to be it for this video. Thank you for watching. Guys, if you haven't already please hit that subscribe button. I'd really, really appreciate that. Like, share, comment. You know all that good YouTube stuff. Check out my social media links in the description if you would like. Uh, don't forget, if this is your first time watching, guys, make sure you come visit the Sanctuary on Facebook and on YouTube. And also, please visit Clickbait Wrestling on Facebook and YouTube as well. Guys, that is it. I hope you liked the video. If you didn't, then I hope you guys give me another chance and hopefully I can win you over with the next video, which will be, I don't know. Uh, and guys, actually, you know what? I'll, I'll, I'll tell you, I'll tell you what the next video is. Be like a teaser. So we got the Jurassic World Pterodon coming up next. So if you're not feeling hero, then that's what's coming up next. Hopefully you guys will check that out. But if not, that's okay too. Guys, have yourselves a great day. I will catch you in the next video and bye.